Hello both pure managers, today we discuss our game week 1 first draft team selection for the new Premier League season. In today's video we discuss our 15 man squad coming into game week 1 and there is plenty to talk about with fixtures and pricing. Also leave a like and subscribe as we try and hit 8k subs by the start of the new Premier League season and click the notification bell to not miss any future uploads and let's get into the video. So first of all, starting off with the goalkeepers, we have gone with David Raya in goals as Brentford have some excellent starting fixtures and at £4.5 million, he's one of the best goalkeeper options at this price. Last season, David Raya did rank amongst the top five goalkeepers for points per game as he recorded an average of four. Speaking of Brentford's fixtures, they start off with Leicester, Manchester United, Fulham, Everton and Crystal Palace as their first five opponents. So with David Ray's good balance of safe potential and clean sheet potential with Brentford, we think he's an excellent asset. Moving on to the defenders now, it is quite a premium defence, starting off with Trent Alexander-Arnold. Trent was the top scoring defender in FPL last year with 208 total points, and considering that his price remains unchanged at 7.5 million pounds, he looks to be excellent value. He recorded two goals, 12 assists, and 18 clean sheets, highlighting his good potential at both ends of the pitch, and he is definitely an essential option. Next up in defense, we've gone with Ben Chilwell from Chelsea. His points per game stats were excellent last season, as in six starts for Chelsea, he recorded 54 total points before picking up an injury. Reese James is the other main Chelsea asset people are going for, but due to Chilwell's excellent points per game, we're hoping he can stay fit through the early stages of the season. The new signing to Tottenham at Ivan Perisic looks to be an exciting FPL asset this year at just £5.5 million. Spurs have some excellent starting fixtures as in the first four weeks they face Southampton, Chelsea, Wolves and Forest. Perisic is most likely playing in a wing-back role for Tottenham which will give him that increased chance of attacking potential, so definitely one to look out for at both ends of the pitch as well. And to cap off the defenders, Jao Cancelo comes into the side as he is also an essential FPL defender. Cancelo was the second highest scoring defender last season, racking up 201 total points as he got himself 1 goal, 11 assists and 19 clean sheets. So with City's good fixtures all the way through until game week 10 with no matches with an FDI rating of over 3, he's looking like a great pick early on. Progressing on to the midfielders now, Luis Diaz is the first midfielder on the team sheet due to his excellent price tag and Liverpool's great fixtures. Diaz looked very impressive since joining Liverpool in the latter stages of last season as his expected stats per 90 were very promising. Luis Diaz had a 0.6 expected scoring involvements per 90 last season and I am thinking he will be getting plenty of study minutes coming into the new year. So with the good fixtures of Fulham away in game week 1 and also Crystal Palace and Manchester United born with a Newcastle to follow, he's probably a good one early on in the season. Gabriel Martinelli is next up and at £6 million I think he's going to be an excellent value pick especially with Arsenal's excellent fixtures in the first five. They face Palace, Leicester, Bournemouth, Fulham and Aston Villa with two out of the three promoted sides being first in this time so I do think at £6 million Martinelli is good value. His points per game stats were also very impressive as he had six goals and seven assists in just 1800 minutes in the Premier League last year. Martinelli had a 0.63 expected score involvements per 90 for the Gunners, and I think he's going to make an excellent start to the season. And then going to the main midfielder in Mohamed Salah, who is coming in at £13 million this year as the most expensive player. Of course, this price tag is probably still justified as he was the highest scoring player in FPL once again last season with 265 total points. This came about with 23 goals and 14 assists as well as 29 bonus points as well. So I definitely think despite his high price tag, he is of course an essential FPL asset. And to finish off the midfielders, Pedro Neto comes in at 5.5 million pounds and has some decent fixtures to start the new year. Wolves face two out of the three promoted sides in their first five weeks of the season with Leeds, Fulham, Tottenham, Newcastle and Bournemouth being their opponents. So at 5.5 million, I would be expecting Pedro Neto to start for Wolves this year and he did make a nice little addition to their squad at the end of last season, getting himself a couple of goals. Now onto the forwards and it is arguably the most talked about player so far in FPL in Erling Haaland. It is no surprise to see him as the highest owned player in FPL so far with a 64% ownership and there is plenty of hype around him building. This is of course due to his excellent goal record in the Bundesliga and Man City have some excellent fixtures to start the new season. As I've touched on with Cancelo, Man City have no matches with an FDI rating of over 3 in the first 10 game weeks and face 2 out of the 3 promoted sides in their first 5. 
So despite him being 11.5 million pounds, I still think this is arguably underpriced for Erling Haaland and definitely a good one to look out for. And to finish off the forward line, we have gone with the Brentford striker in Ivan Tony. In his first season in the Premier League, Tony scored 12 goals and 5 assists, which was very impressive for a newly promoted player, getting himself 139 total points. His price still remains fairly decent at 7 million pounds, and I think he could make an electric start to the new season. Brentford faced Leicester, United, Fulham, Everton and Palace in their first five and all the way up through game week 11 they have no matches but an FJ rating of over 3. So with that being said at just a 7% ownership currently I do think Tony could be a nice differential forward. Now looking towards the bench for the game week 1 squad, Caballero sits there at the bench at 4 million pounds as he looks to be the sub goalkeeper for Southampton this year. Other options at this price do include Olsen as well for Aston Villa but for the moment we've gone with Caballero. Tomiyasu is our bench defender this season at just 4.5 million pounds playing at a right back role for Arsenal. I think he's an excellent value pick as Arsenal do have a fairly solid defence. Tomiyasu does offer a decent bit of attacking potential as well, so for just 4.5 million pounds he is excellent value. Undav is our backup striker at 5.5 million pounds. The new signing to Brighton will hopefully be getting some starting minutes. We'll have to wait and see though with Mope and Welpack being in that same position. But at 5.5 million, if he can start for Brighton, they have some good fixtures to begin the year. Despite Brighton facing Manchester United away in game week one, they then face Newcastle, West Ham, Leeds, Fulham, and Leicester as the next five opponents. And hopefully, if Undef starts, he can get himself some attacking returns. And to finish off the team, Jack Colback comes in at 4.5 million pounds for Forest. There isn't too many starting 4.5 midfielders this year, but Jack Colback did start 41 out of the 46 games in the championship last season. So I am hoping unless Forrest make a new signing midfielder that he will continue to start in the Premier League. Thanks for watching today's first draft team selection for the new Premier League season. If you guys want to become a channel member then click the join button down below and get featured on our members board at the end of the videos just like Philip Ash here. Also leave a like and subscribe and with that being said I'll see you guys in the next one.